That camera's on, that camera's on, that's on. Now I wish we had another camera. Why? Because like now I'm using my phone, but can't get another camera because we had to buy a washer. But we have clean underwear, so that's important. <laughs> Are you ready to review this? I am. Okay. There's never one take. We're not the one take Osmonds. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm super excited about today's product review. Me too. I'm excited because this is something cool that has come out of this season in our world. Yeah, so we're gonna review a new product from Fox Hills Kitchen. Now, if you haven't seen it, a while back, Rachel and I did a review video for Fox Hill Kitchen Bread. I'm gonna leave a link for that over Rachel's head. And if you like bread on keto, but you wanna stay away from all of the, let's face it, the garbage the that garbage. you're buying like in Aldi, like the zero net carb bread that's actually got wheat in it, you definitely wanna check them out because as far as I'm concerned, they are the best pre-made keto bread. They figured out how to make it rise. It tastes delicious. It doesn't have wheat and all that nonsense in it. It is actual keto bread. People are like, what is a keto bread that you could get behind? This is an actual keto bread. But there was a little bit of problems in shipping Thank you, COVID. Yeah, so they actually have on their website that due to COVID, they were having some shipping problems because when you get their bread, it's baked fresh. fresh. You need to stick it in the refrigerator or the freezer and they were having issues. So they had to suspend that as well as the, the free shipping. This, by the way, and we just pulled this out to like make it look pretty. So good. Croutons. The best keto croutons you're ever going to have. We love them in salads. What Soup. do you mean? Soups. They, they're just amazing. But we're gonna put this off to the side. So one of the things that they figured out how to do was make keto bread rise. Which is incredible. And I don't need to know all of the science behind it. I'm just glad that it's happening. Yeah. So here's what we have. We have this bag here. Uh, this is their all purpose bread mix. They sent us two bags, this bag here, as well as another bag, which we've already cooked because again, you have to let it rise. So on the back here, it says what you need is some cool water, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of avocado or any other kind of oil, and a quarter cup of boiling water. You're gonna combine everything, you're basically making bread, then you cover the dough, you let it rise for a minimum of an hour or four hours to overnight. The lower carb, if the lower you want the carbs, the longer you let it rise because that yeast Two weeks. is activating you know, all of the sugar. Right and it's steaming up. So, and also they said put it in a warm spot. That'll make the yeast activate quicker. We live in South Florida, so we got you. Not a big deal. Any place around our house is a warm spot. Here's the cool part. We have this paper that she sent us. These are not our, our notes for our review. These came with it, and this allows you to take this package, turn it into bagels, flatbed, pita, pizza crusts, a loaf. They figured out how to turn it into a loaf because before you were just getting Amazing. like the buns and stuff. Crisps and Melba toast. The difference to, between making the buns and stuff and the loaf is they're saying instead of one tablespoon of oil, you use a quarter of a cup of oil. We haven't tried that one yet. That's the next batch. So you're you're getting this, which I love because I can I don't have to use the bread immediately or put it in the refrigerator. I can decide when I want to make this. Like maybe there's an upcoming event and I want to have buns, hon. Mm -hmm. I can do that later. Right. But then I also love all these other directions. It's like it's coming with its own cookbook. Yes. And it's so versatile. And I think this is a really fun thing to do as a date night. Yep. Right? Make pizza together. So you ready? So Anthony 
graciously baked these for us. He knew we wouldn't be able to make them and keep our hands off of them until the video. Well, he actually already had one. So here's what we have. He turned them into buns. We actually wanted to make it a loaf, but he didn't see the directions for making it into a loaf it until after. It smells like bread. And you need extra oil. So we turned it into buns. He got 12 buns out of the package. On here, they say 10 servings. He got 12 out of it. So there you go. Maybe you can make this bigger is, ones. You can make a little bit bigger ones if you're having a hamburger. Like we always like the, the, the smaller ones. We order the fresh made ones. But he actually came to me while he was, you know, putting it all together and he was like, smell this, mom. It really smells like do like dough, like regular dough. Are you ready to try this? Um, I have am some, I, I have ready some, to try it? Yes. Some chef chamois butter over here. The best. Okay, so we're just gonna take one. I'll break it in half. We'll show it over here. Look at that. That looks like bread. It's bread. It looks like bread. I don't know what I think it's gonna look like, but it looks like bread. Butter, are you gonna try without butter first? I gotta do it without butter first, so you're tasting the bread. It smells like bread. It really smells like bread. It's bread. It is bread. Now, it's bread. It's a little bit spongy compared to the your traditional way. bread, in the best way, because it doesn't like, clump in your mouth. Like remember mm -hmm. the white bread and you, we, we talked about it before, you, you would roll it in a ball and now it just stays there. This, it's got a nice texture to it. Mm. Wow. Are you ready? Now, now is where we're going to elevate an incredible bread. Hit me. Which one is this? This French is onion French butter. onion with Asiago cheese. Oh my goodness. Boy, this is a nice way to break our fast. I. I feel like we are in a different time period. Dang. Wow. Wow. And I, we are eating it cold. Mm -hmm. We are not eating it like, they're not warm. Warm buns too. Cause this is crazy good. I can eat this whole tray right now. Mm -hmm. Could be dangerous. Wow. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does a keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Number one, the ingredients. This is the ingredients for the dry mix only. Right. All you're adding to this after that is apple cider vinegar, avocado oil, and some water. Mm -hmm. The ingredients in this are coconut flour, almond flour, psyllium husk powder, egg white powder, starch-free baking powder, Himalayan salt, and yeast. I gotta tell you, it doesn't taste like coconut flour or almond flour. It is the most amazing combination, and notice what is missing in there. There's no sugar. How, she has somehow figured out how to get yeast to activate with just the sugar that is occurring in coconut and almond flour. I don't know what kind of I don't, magic. It, they figured it out, but it works because I'll this doubled in size. Yeah. Again, look at how small this bag is. All that Anthony added was a tablespoon of oil and some apple cider vinegar and, and a little bit of water. Missing. And yeah, like it doubled in size. It like, really did. I don't know how they did it, but the ingredients are amazing. Amazing. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Let's see. You Let want to do try. this one? Yeah. All right, so the serving size is one bun. But we've got 12 here, it's supposed to be 10. And it says dry mix plus recipe ingredients. So this is with everything, everything in it made. Which I love that, Fox Hill. Amazing. So 103 calories per bun, hun. <laughs> total fat is five grams, six grams of protein, total carbs, seven grams. So it's totally something that you could work into, mm -hmm. even if you're doing a total carb protocol but dietary fiber, seven grams. So if you're doing net carbs, it's actually zero. And the fiber that's in here, it's not prebiotic fiber syrup. No. It's not soluble corn fiber. It's not, it's the fiber that's occurring within the almond flour and the coconut flour. So if you do want to subtract that, have at it. Those yeah. are healthier fibers to be eating. Permission slip granted. Number three. How does it taste? How does it taste? It's bread. It's bread. It is bread, yo. It is not like, like, oh, uh, keto bread. It tastes like bread. Yeah. Now, I do want to say, if you are just used to white bread, it's not white bread. 
Oh, it's better than white bread. I think so. It, yeah. It's it's a really good bread. I, I mean, it's like an I've, artisanal bread. I've made a lot of breads on our own here at home since going keto, and yeah. they've been somewhat good, but not nothing as good as that. Not, nothing as good as this. And I we love just you. we just end up buying. It's not this. as good as that though. Number four. How much does it cost? Okay. Okay. So arm and leg. I've got their website up here. Arm, leg, and thigh. We do have a coupon code. I'm going to leave it linked down below. Mm -hmm. They are also having a special coupon code for this as well, but I don't know how long that's going to last. So I'll put it down below because I think it's high more than our coupon code is. Go but for it. We do appreciate it if you use the link down below. It does help support the channel. Uh, so this bread mix is $9.99. Okay. It gives you 10 servings. Just, 12. <laughs> just to give you an idea though, the bagels, which I'm pulling up, are also $10, and you get in the bagels four servings. So you're actually getting more Way more servings. value. You know, even if you compare it to like their buns, you're getting more, you know, here than when you buy the pre-made ones already. Plus, theirs is coming fresh, super mm -hmm. fresh. We've enjoyed getting them freshly delivered to our door. But this is fresh, fresh. Well, there you ain't no yourself. fresher. There ain't no fresher than this. Here's the good news. On the website, it says it's got a shelf life of six months. So you don't have to order the pre-made ones from them and then worry like, what are we gonna do? We have to eat them right away. Is They're gonna, gonna get freezer burned. Yeah, is it going to, cause that's always my concern. Is it going to taste differently once I put it in the freezer and then thaw it out again? Yeah. So, so number five, would we recommend it? Absolutely. I am so excited about this. I haven't seen anything like it on the market and and it's good quality ingredients. Mm -hmm. So that's just a double blessing. Well, that is gonna be our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried any of the Fox Hill Kitchen products. And which one do you like? Yeah, one of the things that I love about this though is you don't have to choose when you're ordering now. You can buy the bag and make the bagels, the rolls, the bread, whatever you want. It's all the same dough. So if you were to get the bag, what would you use to, to make? Sounds good. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alert to it. Until next time, bye. bye.